Hey guys, today we're going to read Meet Me at the Art Museum by David Golden. When the museum closed for the night, the cleaner did not see the ticket stub lying on the granite floor. But someone else noticed him. Hello, said a friendly voice. Who are you? I'm Stubb, the ticket said. What is this place? This is a museum where some of the world's greatest treasures are kept on display. I'm Daisy, the docent's helper. The docent and I welcome visitors, take them on tours, and explain what is kept here. There are museums about science, art, sports, anything you can think of, said Daisy. Stubb wished he was a treasure so he could live in such an awesome place. May I have a tour, he asked. Sure, said Daisy, I'll be your tour guide. Hey, pal. Got anything you want us to hold for you while you walk around the museum? Called a hat and glove. If you have a coat or backpack, you can leave it at the coat check, said Daisy. Those guys live here in the lost and found. They're lucky to have a home, said Stubb. This museum is big. How do you keep from getting lost? He asked. See these signs, explained Daisy. They're all over the museum. They're designed to show you what's allowed and what's not and where to find what you're looking for. It's called symbol signage. Easy to understand, even if you can't read. They walked past a huge room where new pieces of art were being delivered in carefully packaged crates. Then they passed on to another large room. This room is called a gallery. There are many galleries in a museum. This gallery houses a new exhibition. An ex exhibition is a collection of things brought together, said Daisy. For example, all the artworks are by the same artist or by different artists created at the same time in history. Stubb saw paintings that made him think of sunny days, sculptures that made him curious, and others that made no sense at all but were fascinating in their own way. Who gets to choose what gets into a museum, he asked. That's the curator's job, said Daisy. The curator decides what is worthy of being in a museum. He or she is like a detective, making sure each piece is the real thing and not a copy. Stubb couldn't resist reaching for a piece of art to see what it felt like. Hands off, said Badge, no touching allowed. Those are the rules of the museum. I'm the security guard and I make sure they are followed. We use cameras and monitors so we can watch different galleries from the security room. Security lights help keep the treasures safe. Don't cross that red beam or an alarm will sound. Other high-tech equipment is also used to keep precious objects safe, said Daisy. It is the conservator's job to make sure the air is not too humid, not too dry. They control the temperature, not too hot, not too cold. They control the lights too. You can't have it too dark or too bright. Everything has to be just right. The conservator also fixes damaged objects in the museum's workshop. Stubb and his guide made their way through the entire ground floor. There was so much to see. Now is a good time for a break, said Daisy. This is a cafe where you can sit and rest your feet. The folks who live here will help you get a snack and a drink. You need to get your energy back because there's another whole floor of treasures. You don't want to miss a single one. What do you think so far? asked Daisy. This place is amazing, said Stubb. I wish I could stay forever. On the second floor, Daisy showed Stubb ancient relics, which were very old, and historical artifacts, which were important to the history of a place. They saw treasures collected from all over the world. Stubb discovered ancient writing, sculptures of wood, bronze, and stone, mobiles, paintings, costumes. It was thrilling. One day I'm going to live in a museum, thought Stubb. When you have this much stuff, how do you keep from losing things or getting them mixed up, he asked. An archivist catalogs each piece in the museum, keeping track of everything, said museum. Nothing gets in and nothing leaves without the archivist and me knowing about it, said a computer. Down the hall, they passed the educator's room. That's where all kinds of classes for kids and adults are taught. 
Pass the director's office. The director is in charge of the whole museum. Pass the museum shop. Want to buy a souvenir? And pass the library. The librarian helps research subjects as well as collect and catalog books and other materials. They tour the whole museum except for one room. That's where damaged treasures are fixed and restored, Daisy said, continuing to walk down the hall. But Stubb paused to look inside. That's the tour, Daisy said. Hey, Stubb, where'd you go? Across the room, a beautiful piece of artwork had caught Stubb's eye. It was a collage. Its colors and feelings of movement made him smile. He crept forward to get a closer look. Suddenly, a strong breeze caught hold of him. He landed on the collage. It had just been given a fresh coat of varnish and was very, very sticky. The next day, the painting was hung in the main gallery. Stubb had accidentally found the perfect home. When you visit, perhaps you'll meet him at the museum. Thanks for listening.